Good evening, I'm Justin Betty. Today is December 1st, and after a long year, many people are eager to get into the holiday spirit. Newswatch 12's Morgan Johnson introduces us to some neighbors in Rhinelander who are helping many people do just that. There are tons of lighting displays around the Northwoods, but for the one on Forest Lane in Rhinelander, make sure you have your windows rolled down. Two neighbors passionate about Christmas. We both love decorating, so it wasn't tough to just keep putting more out and more out. All coming from generations behind. I have always been decorating because like her, my parents go big at Christmas time and decorate, so that's where I got it from. But this alliance began when Louise Wells moved next door to Glenda A. Strike. These fine folks decided to move in. So we each at Christmas time both love decorating. So we started doing it and it was just more, okay, Louise has this out, we better get some more out. What started as a friendly competition turned into a musical collaboration. When we got our music system, we just thought it'd be really neat to kind of hook it together and just make one big scene that people could see. And of course, here. It's free entertainment for anyone who passes by, but the neighbor's electricity bills do take a hit. To keep the blow-ups going all the time, I think it's, it's probably a good, maybe, 40 or 50, it's not that much over. Leah Van Zyl from the Wisconsin Public Service says it can vary from person to person. Holiday lighting can impact your energy bill. Um, it really depends on the number of lights that you decide to string up and if you have any additional displays outside or in your house. Van Zyl recommends using the WPS online holiday lighting calculator to see how much certain lights would cost. But back at home, the only thing the two neighbors are concerned about is making next year bigger and brighter with some new competition coming soon. Once I get my house, I can beat them. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> In Rhinelander, I'm Morgan Johnson, Newswatch 12. All right, well, that's probably more decorating than most people do. Many families are now starting to put up their Christmas trees. Stegerwalt Tree Farm and Tomahawk has been in the tree business for over 60 years. Although this year has, of course, been different because of COVID-19. Owners say more families are now looking to get real trees this year. Every year you can see the trees get better and better and better. And then on the retail side, I love to see the families come in and buy trees in the lots in Florida. They come in with, you know, with the children. It's a good time of the year. People are happy, and there's this whole thing comes together really well at the retail end of it. As you just heard there, they're not just selling Christmas trees to Wisconsinites. They also ship over 1,000 trees to their farm in Clearwater, Florida. In fact, they ship all over the country, including to California and Louisiana. So we've got a good environment for growing um, traditional Christmas trees. The Wisconsin balsam fir is is known throughout the country it smells really good and i think the other thing is you have a lot of northern people living now in florida and louisiana so they like their northern trees real trees are so popular this year and worries that could lead to a problem we'll have more on that coming up on news watch 12 at 6. Well, outside, the temperatures certainly feel like December. Newswatch 12 chief meteorologist jeff weller is at the ymca of the northwoods in rhinelander with more jeff Hey Justin, happy Tuesday. I'm here at the YMCA of the Northwoods Youth Development Center and for a very special reason, more on that during Maine weather. But first, let's check on our weather forecast for today. Look at these high temperatures back in the low 30s. We earned it, we deserve it. Yesterday we were in the 20s, today 30s. Tomorrow we're actually going to go for upper 30s across much of the area. All right, temperatures out there now though are falling off very quickly. We're currently in the mid 20s in Rhinelander, 29 though still for places over in Forest County. We'll have low temperatures tonight, kind of cool, with low temperatures down in the uh, low teens once again. All because the cloud cover has broken up, clear skies, a light wind this time of year means very cold temperatures for us, and we'll have lows tonight down in the low teens. So here's your forecast then. Mostly clear skies with a couple of clouds around, not a big deal at all. With low temperatures down near 12, your full forecast is coming up, Justin. All right, thank you, Jeff. The numbers are now in for the total number of deer harvested during Wisconsin's gun deer season. According to the DNR, 188,712 deer were harvested all across the state. That includes both bucks and does. They also report preliminary figures showing the number of deer hunters in Wisconsin rose this year compared to each of the previous two. Female hunters, women, remain the largest growing demographic, up 12% from last year. As of right now, the DNR Bureau 
Bureau of Law Enforcement also reports nine firearm involved injuries, one death during the 2020 nine day gun deer season. That includes one incident in Marathon County. Hunters looking to give back to the community this year can consider donating the hearts of any deer they harvested to the uh, winged hunters of the Northwoods, helping them get back in the air. News Watch 12's Georgina Fernandez explains. Two days ago, this barn owl was hit by a car. Now it's getting a second chance at a raptor education group in Anago. And hunters are playing a part in his recovery journey. He went like a deer by donating their dear hearts. It really helps us to feed our, our patients. We care for about 100 eagles a year, as well as this year we, we've admitted over 1,000 patients already. They bring us the heart, which most people in our area don't, don't eat, and so it's usually left out in the woods. Raptor Education Group founder and executive director March Gibson says meat left in the woods could cause health problems. If a raptor eats meat from a deer shot by a lead bullet, it's a devastating disease. It is in their blood, it's stored in the bones, and it causes organ failure, multi-organ failure. It causes neurologic symptoms. The facility x-rays each donation, and they come back clean. She cuts them up for a meal. But sometimes... We find lead in quite a few hearts, unfortunately, that we do have to dispose of. Maybe a quarter of the hearts and deer products that we receive. The center says they dispose of the meat properly by burying it to make sure no wild animals can get into it. But it's not just fresh game they're worried about. Often we get processed meat, whether it's hamburger or whatever, and when we x-ray it, it has lead fragments in it. And I think people always feel that they're, you know, they're safe be having it processed. But the truth is, is that you can't really see it. They're small pieces. and. You know, they're within the meat. Hunters who are looking to donate can find a location closest to them on the Raptor Education Center website. In Anago, Georgia Fernandez, News Watch 12. Today, Wisconsin set a new record for most COVID-19 deaths reported in a single day as the number of new cases in the state continues to fall. The Wisconsin Department of Health Services reports 107 new deaths today. We know Oneida County announced five by themselves last night likely to be included in this total. Forest County also announced one COVID death today. Across the state, DHS also reports over 4,000 new cases today. That's right on our seven day average for daily new cases, which has been falling. In our 12 county North Central Wisconsin region, DHS reports 179 people are in the hospital with COVID-19. That's a slight increase from yesterday. They say 33 of those are in the ICU. A Pfizer plant in Pleasant Prairie will be used to ship and store a COVID-19 vaccine once it arrives here in Wisconsin. The distribution center located between Chicago and Milwaukee will be used as vaccines are shipped uh, all across the country. Two vaccines are now in the pipeline. The FDA is expected to start approving them very soon. It'll be a, a massive effort, though, to ship those doses across the country. Pfizer, along with the company Moderna, are seeking emergency use authorization for their COVID-19 vaccines. A new study from the CDC suggests COVID-19 made its way to at least parts of the U.S., sooner, earlier than previously thought. The virus was first identified in Wuhan, China last December, about a year ago. The first case in the U.S. was not confirmed until January 19th. However, CDC researchers now say they found coronavirus antibodies in 39 blood donation samples from California, Oregon, and Washington to the West Coast in mid-December of last year. Also, 67 samples from Connecticut, Iowa, Massachusetts, Michigan, Rhode Island, and Wisconsin collected early this year, also containing antibodies. That was before the pandemic really started spreading in March and April. The CDC still believes, however, that widespread transmission likely did not begin in the U.S. until late February. President Donald Trump has now officially filed a lawsuit in Wisconsin seeking to disqualify more than 220,000 ballots cast in the presidential election here. Remember, Joe Biden won the state following the recent recount by almost 21,000 votes. The biggest chunk of those votes being challenged, about 170,000 of them, are in-person absentee, the early vote. The Trump campaign is arguing that people should have had to resign to request an absentee ballot
before voting in person early, at least in Dane County and Milwaukee County, saying signing at the end, not good enough, regardless of state law. The state's highest court also is considering whether to hear two other lawsuits filed by conservatives seeking to invalidate ballots. Folks across the Northwoods are still shopping for the holidays, many people focusing on local businesses. And to accommodate the CDC's safety measure, one Rhinelander establishment is going virtual. We'll have more on that, but first, Jeff's in with your full forecast next on Newswatch 12 at 5. Advice from trial attorneys, lawyers for the injured. You will have confidence when you walk into the courthouse with the Mater legal team at your side. You will know that we are fully prepared to win the courtroom battle. Call the Mater legal team. We get the job done right every time. With new to you products arriving daily, there's no small find at your local Goodwill. When you treasure hunt for favorite items that fit your unique style at Goodwill, you fuel job training and opportunities for people with barriers to employment in your community. Not only are you keeping items out of the landfill, you're also supporting more than one and a half hours of job training and opportunities with every purchase you make. For great holiday finds, shop Goodwill. Goodwill, donate, shop, bring good home. Let's get to it, America. Because joy doesn't just happen. You make it happen. And during the Ford Built for the Holiday sales event, we want to help you make even more joy. With 0% APR financing for 60 months and $2,000 trade assist cash on top of what your eligible trade is worth towards select SUVs and Ford Fusion. Plus, get 90 days payment deferment. That's how we're making joy this season. How will you? Ford. Built for the Holidays. It begins with one step, and Ascension Northland Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Care teams are here when you're ready, with up-to-date, less invasive orthopedic care. Our experience reaches across a full range of services from hip to knee to shoulder pain. We listen to you and provide the joint replacement care that's right for you, from imaging and specialists to physical therapy. So your next step can be a leap. Call 715-369-2300 or visit ascension.org slash northlandortho. There you are. Welcome back, my friends. I'm here at the YMCA of the Northwoods with CEO of Ryan Zietlow. And also a special guest here is a Sammy Huell, who is with CoVantage Credit Union. She's a regional branch manager. And thank you, Sammy, for being here uh, with a very special gift with the YMCA right now, a partnership we've got going on currently. What is that partnership, Sammy? We, um, the Covanish Cares Foundation, is, the staff at Covanish has selected the Y as our recipient this year for our Giving Tuesday campaign. Mm -hmm. And what the Giving Tuesday is is um, it's the second, or it's the Tuesday after Black Friday. Cyber Monday, where it's a chance for us to give back to the communities that we Yeah, do. and CoVentures has a long history of giving back to the community. And Ryan, why is this gift important for what the Y is doing right now? Well, right now, the CoVentures Cares Foundation uh, Giving Tuesday campaign between now and the 15th of December will help us uh, gain further traction in our Building for the Future Capital campaign mm -hmm. and really setting up opportunities for youth and teens in our community, adults and seniors, uh, to really make uh, Rhinelander and the Greater Northwoods a better place to be. Yeah. So right now, CoVentage Credit Union will match every dollar donated to the YMCA Capital Fund, which is going toward expanding the building into 24-hour gym access and other amenities. So right now, your dollar, and we know you're being asked for a lot of donations right now. It's the holidays. But right now, if you give a dollar, they'll match it. Yep. So your dollar goes extra far right now. And Ryan, where's that money go toward? Yeah, it's going to go towards the Building for the Future Capital Campaign. And really what it's going to do is help get us closer to our $2 million goal mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that these spaces are realized for our community and for those that uh, will benefit from them. Okay, and why is the CoVantage Cares Foundation so important to your organization? Um, it's a way that we can give back to the communities that we serve. Um, the foundation was established to support other organizations that... Um, help the underserved and that help better the communities. Okay, and how do people at home give to this foundation which also goes to the YMCA? Website? 
You can go to our website and it's on there. If you're a member with CoVantage, you can donate through our online banking or you can stop in at any location or mail your um, donations to any location that we have. And I think Ryan the Y also has a website, correct? Yeah, our Building for the Future Capital Campaign page on our website will link back to the CoVantage Cares Foundation information so that we make it as seamless and easy as possible. All right, thank you both very much. Let's check out our weather forecast out there right now. Uh, high temperatures today kind of topped out in the middle 30s across parts of the area. Tomorrow we're going to do actually a little better with highs tomorrow back in the upper 30s for most of the region. Out there right now though, no upper 30s for you. We're actually back into the 20s across parts of the area, low 20s at that. And we'll keep these low temperatures tonight. We'll actually have lows tomorrow morning down into the low teens across much of the area. All right, here's the record high being uh, 55 back in 1962. Record low is 18 below back in 1919. And look at that sunset now at 4.15 in the afternoon. All right, so around the horn, everyone's kind of having a cool day, but it's warmer than it was yesterday. And we're going to keep building on that. And there's no real heat waves coming our way anytime soon, but there are some warmer temperatures tomorrow where a couple of you could flirt with 40 through the afternoon. Here's that trend. So 39 is a forecast high tomorrow, 33 though for us on Thursday. And you can see again, the average high being 30. We're going to hang out near there the next five to seven days across our neck of the woods. It's also going to be very sunny and very quiet as there are no weather systems in the forecast anytime soon. It's going to feel a lot like living in San Diego, but colder with sunny, temp sunny skies and lots of temperatures in the 30s for us. Uh, clear skies are out there right now. There's a big system to the west, east of us right now that will stay there for us. We have lots of clear skies tonight and lots of sunshine back in the forecast for us tomorrow. There'll be a few clouds entering the picture on Thursday, but it's not going to be all clouds all day. Maybe a few clouds passing through during the afternoon. All right, so high pressure is firmly in charge for us right now. High pressure is sinking air or good weather for us. That trend will continue the next five to seven days around here. So here's our forecast then for tonight though. It's mostly clear and cold. Low temperatures down near 12, but just like last night, a couple of you could get into the upper single digits for low temperatures this evening. For tomorrow, all right, it's Wednesday, mostly sunny and warmer, warmer being the relative word there, right? With high temperatures in the upper 30s. Uh, that'll feel good though with the sunshine, especially through the afternoon with a northwest breeze around 5 to 10. And then looking ahead, your seven day forecast by Northwest Furniture and Mattress shows a quiet stretch of weather coming our way. Uh, again, no real snow or rain in the forecast anytime soon, with temperatures hanging out in the 30s through the weekend and beyond. Justin? All right, thank you, Jeff. Well, the Y isn't the only local organization getting involved in Giving Tuesday. Art Start held a virtual rally today. Program and Operations Director Ashley McLaughlin says the event moved online this year to accommodate the COVID-19 pandemic. We structured a rally on our Facebook page today just to celebrate the arts and talk about uh, all that we do for the community. Like many organizations, Art Start says business as usual was a no-go this year. Keeping the gallery open by appointment only and moving live performances online are just part of how they're adapting. So we're uh, getting more and more into the virtual world and uh, trying to still fulfill our mission by um, educating people through the arts and bringing people together in community building, but in a different way. And they have some more events coming up. The Holiday Market starts on Art Start's Facebook page this weekend. You can hear about and from the artists currently featured in the gallery on December 15th. McLaughlin says to follow again their Facebook page for more information to stay up to date. COVID-19 continues to take center stage across the world, but that's not the only pandemic the country is facing right now. We'll talk about World AIDS Day and how that virus has taken a toll on many people's lives and has for decades after the break. Get huge savings on your new replacement windows during Renewal by Anderson's 31 day sale. Call this number now and schedule your free window diagnosis because this fantastic offer and special financing ends soon. Call today and save. Renewal by Anderson. Ah! You gotta have some corn. Oh, cool. Mm. Turkey. You got to pick the cut you want off the beef trolley. In a crazy world, you need cozy TV. Wednesday, we're lighting America's tree live with the biggest names in music.
singing the greatest hits of the season. Christmas in Rockefeller Center. Be there live Wednesday on NBC. Kick off the holiday season with the Rockettes in a Christmas spectacular with John Legend, Whoopi Goldberg, Josh Groban, and more. Hoda Kotb and Savannah Guthrie host the Christmas Spectacular Wednesday on NBC. Carpet City. Come to Carpet City Flooring Center's biggest sale ever and receive free carpet installation along with an additional $300, $600, or even $1,000 of savings on all flooring products and sale prices. That's right, free carpet installation and an additional savings of up to $1,000 on top of the sale prices. See why contractors and designers only choose Carpet City Flooring Center for their flooring needs. Our prices will blow. Considering an online pharmacy? Explore Be Safe Rx to find useful information and resources to help you purchase medicines safely online. A safe online pharmacy requires a doctor's prescription, has an address in the United States, has a licensed pharmacist, and is licensed by a state pharmacy board. It's best to stay away from online pharmacies that don't meet these criteria. Discover more helpful tips and resources at Be Safe Rx. Go to fda.gov slash Be Safe Rx. COVID-19 isn't the first pandemic America has faced. Today is World AIDS Day. News Watch 12 Sierra Whaley talked to state experts about how that fight has changed over the years and how it continues today. HIV has been a pandemic. You know, we're coming up on 40 years now. So that hasn't gone away, even though COVID has kind of taken center stage. Today is World AIDS Day, a moment to acknowledge an illness that has been among us and taken too many lives. University of Wisconsin Health honors World AIDS Day by talking with Chris Chapman, a patient and community engagement specialist. A lot of people um, are dealing with a pandemic within a pandemic, you know. Um, so I think it's important that people understand that HIV still affects many people, um, both in our local community, statewide, worldwide, uh, you name it. And although researchers and scientists have worked with doctors all over the world, the one unfortunate question still remains, will this pandemic end? We have in, within our grasp the ability to end the HIV epidemic, but it has to be a whole of society. In-person support groups have dwindled since COVID hit and times have only gotten harder. Chapman advises for people to focus on what they can control. Try to concentrate on the things that you can control and, you know, the things that kind of make you happy. What the COVID-19 pandemic has done was reminded individuals of that moment when they first got diagnosed with HIV or even the beginning of the epidemic, which was about 40 years ago. Therefore, we have no room to forget what is still occurring. Jackson Seeger, founder of Wausau Transfam Alliance, gives out safe sex kits and educates the community about HIV awareness. However, he says it all comes down to kindness. Kindness just really goes a long way whether it is HIV and AIDS or COVID, you know, um, it's important to be kind no matter who you are or who you're interacting with. If you want to learn more about HIV AIDS and what you can do to help, you can check out HIV.gov. In Rhinelander, Sierra Whaley, Newswatch 12. Hi, my name's Chad. I went and saw a neurologist and had several MRIs and they found out that I had spinal neuropathy. The neurologist at the hospital decided that the only treatment was medication. I didn't find that acceptable, so I called Spinal Aid to get a free consultation. After working with Spinal Aid, I'm able to walk, I'm able to sleep, I have balance, my overall comfort of life is 100% better. Are you experiencing weakness, numbness, and or pain in your feet or hands? These sensations might even be affecting other areas of your body along with your balance. You might have already been diagnosed with peripheral neuropathy and are taking drugs such as Lyrica, Gabapentin, or Cymbalta that never seems to help. Neuropathy pain ultimately diminishes your quality of life. The Spinal Aid Center of Wausau can help relieve the symptoms of your neuropathy. Call Spinal Aid of Wausau today to see if our treatment methods are right for you. Call 715-203-1508 to schedule your neuropathy severity consultation. 
Why choose People State Bank? I'm not used to response from a bank the way that I got from people. I like to know who I'm working with. I like to have that relationship. To have somebody there with you, it's reassuring. Without the involvement of People State Bank, I don't know where we would be, but we sure wouldn't be where we're at. Make People's your choice. Voted Best Bank and Best Mortgage Company in Marathon County. Stop by a location today or visit us online at bankpeoples.com. When you protect what's important to you from COVID-19, you help protect everyone in Wisconsin. Learn how you can stop the spread at dhs.wisconsin.gov slash COVID-19. Northland Basement Systems is the all things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. As we mentioned earlier, today is Giving Tuesday. Founded in 2012 as kind of an answer to Black Friday and Cyber Monday, encouraging people to do good things in the world by giving their time, talents, or treasure. You can donate to a cause that's important to you, volunteer, or lend your voice to a cause you care about. Find more information at givingtuesday.org. We're back with more news in just uh, about 32 minutes. NBC Nightly News is next. We'll see you in a little bit.